One of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video is different pathways that you can use to travel abroad. If you lost the DVD already that was previously announced or released, um, if you are not selected, this video could be of great importance to you because I'm going to break down uh, different or several pathways that I'm going to help you to to reach your what you have always desired than your destiny. Um, my name is Mina. I am Mina. I am a nurse. I welcome you back to my channel. In this channel, I, I do videos concerning nursing. I do videos on how you can travel to abroad. I talk about different paths that can talk, that can take you to America, that can take you to Canada, that can take you to Europe countries, Asian countries. I mean, mention any country, and I will tell you a cheap path or a complete path that is going to help you to travel abroad. Therefore, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing, consider turning on the notification bell so that you always get notified every time I post a new video. And today, guys, uh, I have some flu. Uh, I have a flu, actually. And uh, please bear with me um, because I'm working very hard to ensure that you guys keep, you are, you, I keep you updated on these uh, pathways to travel abroad. So please kindly bear with me. I'm working very hard for you. Um, so thank you. Today I'm going to talk about uh, those guys that lost the DV lottery 2023. Um, I want to tell you that uh, this is a lottery and it is not always a guarantee. I know you know that. I hope you know that. So uh, I'm sorry guys for not getting selected, but that is not the end of life. What next? What next after losing uh, the DV lottery 2023? I mean... There are so many pathways that you guys can use. Not only the, the DV uh, is just but one of the pathways that you can use to travel abroad. There are so many uh, pathways that you can use to get to your dreams. Uh, therefore, uh, stick around as I break down to you these pathways. Um, but even before I get into them, uh, don't lose hope. Uh, continue doing what you are doing. If you are a student, Continue uh, perfecting on your studies. If you are working, if you had a job, if you had a business, don't lose hope, don't give up. Don't, let us not hear the suicidal cases that there are people who are committing suicide because they were not selected for this DV lottery. Uh, therefore, uh, there are so many pathways. There are so many. Actually, uh, America is just but one country that you can travel. You can move to Canada, as I always tell you. You can move to Europe. You can move to Asian countries. There are so many pathways. So today I want to talk about uh, Europe. Actually, Europe, um, and especially this is this goes to people ages 18 to 27, 27, and 27 and above. So if you are less than 18, um, you can still travel, but uh, as a with your parent, yeah, yeah, you can still travel. You can still travel. So stick around. Uh, in Europe, there are so many pathways that you can use to travel to Europe. Um, there is voluntary services, and we call them uh, the BFD and FSJ. Uh, to start with, let me start with uh, BFD. This is for people ages 18 to 27. Uh, this is a volunteering service whereby you choose to volunteer into uh, Europe countries. You can choose to volunteer in German, like for example in Germany. Um, this is a volunteer, uh, as I have told you, is a volunteer service. Uh, you go there, you are able to uh, learn about their language, you are able to uh, learn about their culture, and at the same time you will be paid, you are, you are being paid. Uh, therefore, this is a, a good pathway uh, that can help you to travel. So, what do you require? Number one, you require to have a um, German language. You require to know German, uh, to know to know how to speak German. Uh, and how do you do you do you train to speak German? There are so many materials that you can use to train German. You can use uh, YouTube. You can you can go to school. There are different institutions that offer uh, German classes. For example, in Kenya, or even in where you come from, I know there must be a great German institution. Uh, when, if you are in Kenya, there is Nairobi. If you are in, Cam in Uganda, you can find it in Kampala. Uh, if you are in Tanzania, I know you can still find those institutions. So, 
you just they just require you to have a a, a mean grade of uh, just um, a, a certificate that shows that you can speak uh, German just a minimum of a1 certificate this is going to help you to travel to German then we are going to to look for organizations you search them for I will link, I will link the links in the de description box so that you guys can uh, can tap these opportunities because they are there for you and I know and there are so many guys who don't know about this information and there are people who know it and they don't want to share I don't know why people are uh, getting me with this information so I will link that link in the description you go you volunteer in Germany uh, you are getting paid you are, you'll be able to exchange culture and the good thing is that once even you are done with this uh, uh, volunteering service which takes uh, about one year you are going to you can be absorbed into the into into that country by you can enroll yourself into the like in the university you can join the university if you have attained the the level of Germ German language uh, certificate speaking, that this means that you can be able to converse in German, you can be able to write in German. That so they require you to at least have a uh, maybe B1 or C1. This is going to uh, increase or to help you uh, to help you to manage. So guys, I'm sorry, I have some flu. Uh, I'm sorry guys, uh, so it's going to help you to, to travel to, to jump by volunteering, um, that is num FSJ. Number two, if you, are, if, you are less than, if you are above 27 years of age, you are not left, left out, you can still travel as a volunteer service. So FSJ and the, the program is called BFD. Remember, for less than 27 years, I have told you it's called FSJ. For above 27 years of age, it is called uh, BFD. They are the same. The only thing is that um, the, age, the age gap for FSJ is below 27, for BFD is above 27. And the, another thing is the salary. For, F, for FSJ, you are paid much, a little bit lesser than for BFD. So what are the requirements that you need for this? volunteering service. Number one, as I have told you, is the German certificate. Number two, you require to have a police clearance form. Yeah. And number three, you need to have um, um, a, a certificate. You need to have a certificate of a higher, not higher learning, or high school. You need to have completed high school. Um, then you need to, you to have a contract. You need to have a contract uh, from the employer. You get the, um, the the contract by clicking on the link uh, and getting to those organizations. If you want to volunteer in health, if you have a passion for helping the uh, the sick, you can volunteer in the hospitals. If you have a passion for uh, wildlife, you can volunteer in zoos. There are so many opportunities outside there for you. Um, yeah, that is it for, for those volunteering services. As easy as that, and the process, or the, the application process can take you even less less than one month. If you are if you know German language, it can take you for less than one month. Can't you see this? This is a, a fast pathway that is going to help you to get into Europe than even the uh, the uh, the the, the DV lottery. Remember, DV lottery you have to. It is a process, and it requires you to have so many things. Medical. They require to have to have a lot of things that you have to do so you can you can first of all you move to europe if you want to if you don't want to uh, to live in europe for so long you can even remember when you, you have europe visa it is it will be very easy for you to travel to um, america or even canada this is a great information and i hope you guys um you guys can take advantage of this because uh, most of people are not yet tapping into these resources. Another program that you can use to travel abroad uh, is a program called Aupea. So, in case you may be wondering what is Aupea, Aupea is a is a, a foreigner who works in another country. Um, the foreigner is to help in in child support and even in in house chores. So. Um,
so i'm sorry guys uh, i have a running nose can't you see guys i'm working tirelessly to ensure that you guys you get up to date with, with this information therefore um in case you have not subscribed please support me by subscribing to the channel by sharing this co content so that we may help uh, thousands and thousands of youths there are so many people who are desperate in their home countries because there are so much unemployment depression is hitting them and yet there are these so many um, opportunities abroad in case uh, you have not subscribed kindly subscribe and share this content so that we can help some as many people as possible and if you have a question you can comment in the you can ask me the in the comment section and i will answer you i will answer your question yeah leave a comment in the comment section let's keep moving so as i was saying an au pair is a foreigner who is uh to, who is to work in uh, another country not their home country uh for health support and for south for house chores remember an au pair is not a nanny as i always tell you it's not a noun it's not a nanny and the purpose of this au pair is to help you uh, familiarize or increase on your knowledge on the german language and help you to learn their culture so uh, you can tap uh, I, I will also link uh, the au pair link in the description where you guys can apply uh, you, so you need a family now the toughest thing about this au pair is finding a family if you find a family you can even travel with less than a month and the family is going to even to pay some families even pay for your ticket for your flight ticket imagine guys they will pay for your flight ticket they will pay for your insurance why in once you are in their country um they, some even will pay for your bus fare some even will pay for your classes remember when you are in in their country uh you be you be learning uh their language they will be having some classes concerning uh the the their language some will be even paying for your for for the language so uh what do you require uh the requirements are an au pair is the it ranges from countries to countries for example uh in in germany uh au pair they require from ages um from 18 to 27 18 to 27 uh in other countries like uh in austria they they go for up to 29 30 29 around 30 so so this can be of great help and to clarify on this it is not only for girls alone even boys can volume, can go to work as au pairs and on top of that they will be paying for example in german in germany they they are going to pay you they give you some it's not like a payment it's just like a pocket money uh and in in even in 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 austria they are also going to pay you so there are so many opportunities outside there for you guys and i hope you can tap into these opp opportunities because they are there for you the government have uh, have made this these opportunities and these roads to ensure that you guys uh, have different pathways so uh, today i just wanted to brief you concerning the those those things uh don't just keep your mind uh on one thing yeah we say don't keep your your eggs on one basket yeah apply to several opportunities opportunities apply to several countries apply to most of these countries and you are going to there must be one of one of opportunities that you are going that is going to uh, to favor you so uh, kindly guys uh, i i didn't have much today i just wanted to encourage you not to give not to lose hope that there is still some hope and you can still accomplish your dream your um, your your dream of traveling your dream of getting into those opportunities i just wanted to tell you that it is not over it is not over not getting selected in the dv lottery it is not over it is just one pathway there are so many pathways even in america that dv lottery is just one pathway there are so many pathways that you can use to travel even to america you can travel as a student you can travel as a visitor yeah you can travel uh, as a spouse you can travel even uh, for marriage for marriage there are ma their spouse visa marriage visa yeah 
you can even travel in case you have relatives in um, in abroad they can host you so there are so many pathways that you can use to travel abroad therefore if you have any question you can write in the comment section and i will answer you uh there so that's it that is it guys for today thank you guys uh for watching until next time i'm gonna meet you on my next one i am minor peace